Hi everyone, Mike here from workingwithdrones.com. I hope you're staying healthy and safe out there in these crazy COVID times we're living in right now. I'd like to take a look at the train following feature in Map Palette today. Map Palette is used for mapping with DJI drones on iOS devices. And it's an app I've used for years off and on now. And it's got a handy train following feature, which here on the west coast of Canada, I use a lot and it's something that is pretty much essential when we're mapping areas with our drones. So once you've got a, a flight plan set up in Map Pilot, I'll just do a quick one here. The purple dot, as you may know, is where your estimated takeoff location is. So if that changes, your terrain profile will also change uh, because that is where the drone's coming from into your study area to hit its first flight lines. So up in the top menu here, if you go to Terrain Aware and Profile, it will calculate um, the elevation profile. So we're starting at high ground here, as you can see, and we're sending it down uh, towards the river here, and then back up to us um, to return home. The really nice feature of this, as you can see the blue dot, is wherever I click on the Terrain Profile, it will show me where those high points are. Oops, we'll push that back. It will show me where those high points are on the terrain. So in this case, there is a high terrain point in the north part of our study area. And you might use that to tweak the study area or perhaps miss that terrain altogether um, if it's at the start and end here. So if we do change where we're taking off or where we think we're going to take off, when we recalculate that, you can see here that now we're we're going over some terrain to get to the first flight line. Um, so just something to keep in mind when we, you need to get into the field to take a look again at your terrain profile. Uh, something else to consider is that if, you're, if we were to change this flight plan perpendicular and also look at the terrain profile, this is quite inefficient when it comes to your battery because now we're going up and down over the terrain. Um, so I wouldn't run this flight plan the way it is, I would put it back to having north-south um, flight lines here just for uh, efficiency. Another tip to keep in mind, the last one here is uh, to make sure that you do run this profile if you plan to use terrain aware in the field because it will trigger the download of the terrain tiles. Uh, the terrain in map pellets based on Google Earth, or sorry, NASA's SRTM data, which is the Satellite Radar Topography Mission. It's about 30 meter uh, spatial resolution for this data. And it is, I've found all the time I've used it, it gets you in the ballpark that you need to have a, a really good flight and to stay that equal distance above terrain throughout the study area. So overall, um, it does the trick and I've found it to be useful. So that's terrain following with MapPilot.